let the five numbers involved here be A, B, C, D and E in increasing order. Now definitely when I talk about my lowest sum, this has to be nothing but A plus B plus C and definitely my second highest sum, sec second lowest sum which is 1 has to be A plus B plus D. If I simply subtract these two equations, I get D minus C has to be 9. Similarly, my highest sum 23 has to be C plus D plus E. And my second highest sum 19 has to be B plus D plus E. From where I can very clearly see that C minus B has to be 4. So there is a difference of 4 units between C and B and there is a difference of 9 units between D and C. Now when I talk about the third large third uh, sum which is 3, how can this be obtained? This can be obtained in two ways. First is if I take B plus C plus D. Now if I compare A plus B plus D which is 1 and B plus C plus D, I can very clearly see that the difference is nothing but C minus A. And this C minus A has to be 3 minus 1 or 2 units. But since I already know that C minus B is 4 units, C minus A has to be more than that, cannot be 2. Therefore, 3 cannot be B plus C plus D. It has to be the only other option which is A plus B plus E. And in this case, when I compare with A plus B plus D, the difference is E minus D which has to be 2 units. Thus, I come to know that the difference between E and D is 2 units. Now, when I combine the information that D minus C is 9 and E minus D is 2 with the fact that C plus D plus E is 23, very clearly I can derive from here that C has to be nothing but exactly 1 unit. When C is 1, it is very clear that D is 10 and E has to be 12 units. Similarly, working back, I come to know that if C is 1, B has to be minus 3. And if again I put these values in A plus B plus C equal to minus 8, I get to know that A has to be nothing but minus 6. Hence, the correct answer is choice 5 minus 6.